Uh, well, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, great turnout. Um, glad everyone's here. Uh, just a reminder, these meetings are recorded. We post them on YouTube for those who couldn't be here. Um, so, But if that's a concern for anyone, uh, please let me know now or after the meeting. Um, lots going on, so we'll get right into it. Uh, board farm status. Um, Mike, I, I noticed that there were that you dealt with a couple. Uh, I think it was uh, issues and pull requests this week. Yeah, I uh, answered some questions. Um, you know, you reminded me that someone has some questions, but the only person that could answer, uh, what's his name? Is it because someone had contributed some code? Yes, his. Um, well, I think his GitHub name is Miska. He works at CZNIC. I haven't heard. Yeah, from him. yeah. So he's contributed some code, and some people, you know, are asking some questions about his code, and I, I honestly don't know. Um, I don't know if he's like noticing those questions or, uh, or not. <laughs> uh, I can, I can try to hunt him down and uh, <laughs> see, see what's going on there. I, I mean, I, I think he was doing it on, as, like, uh, on the side. So I, I will see what we can get. But, yeah. Uh, Okay. Awesome. Anyone else doing stuff related to board farm? Uh, little update from us. The, we're just churning through the test, making sure that um, try and get as many passing as possible. Uh, and slightly related, we're just, I think, well, as you know, we're, we're pushing up um, CI40 support on OpenWRT as well. I think at the moment we're running something like 40 tests on CI on the board farm setup. Awesome. We're just trying to get all of them working, really. That would be nice. That's great. That's fantastic. Glad to hear. Anyone else have anything related to Board Farm? All right, I can do my update. Uh, I've I've begun the work on uh, adding support for the Lantique board. Um, so uh, that I don't think will be a huge problem. I, the one thing I haven't tested yet is um, I'm not exactly sure if the TFTP server, if it works uh, through the LAN, because they have a, the WAN, there isn't, say, a WAN port, it's the DSL port. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how that works with Board Farm right now. Uh, Mike, do you have any any experience? Uh, yeah. Uh, so I guess the boards that I've used, um, TFTP worked over either the WAN or the LAN port. Mm -hmm. I have never used a uh, just a DSL device okay. though. Okay. Um, yeah. In the in the code, I thought it tries to uh, tries like one port, and if that doesn't work, it might try the other one. Um, but you know that may need to be fixed or tested for. Yeah. Your case. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I'm. I'll, I'm going to get into that probably. Uh, hopefully, I can do it today. Um, but yeah. So. Might might take a little longer because there may be a few few bugs there, but I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. It's it's going forward. Um, I know there are a few few boards that people have said are either going to be coming or um, or you know they're coming in the next few weeks or they're coming pretty soon. So that's also very good. Um, so yeah, we're still uh, welcome additional boards. Um, we're going to have I um, set up a. It's for now just the Google form for people to fill out to get the, you know, the appropriate information we need from them. Um, one thing that I had thought about is we don't technically have a donation uh, policy, you know, anything for people to sign. I'm not sure if that's important or not. We I kind of have to talk to Art about that. Um, I contacted the Kernel CI folks because they accept donations. Um, to date, they don't have one. They that people have just been very understanding, but it, it would be good to be clear if people are donating boards, what exactly that means. That you know, we don't have to. Um, does that mean we have to send them back? I think the intent was we we would never, we wouldn't go through that process if somebody asked. But if that's something we want to do, I don't know. So, Eric, uh, yeah. just a quick note on that. So in OpenWRT. We do have a donations page which just lists that uh, who gave uh, what board, but uh, but uh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and we would we would have something similar, definitely. But yeah, just wanted to. I don't know. 
not sure what the legal side of this is, and maybe I'm maybe I'm overthinking it. So, um, but just kind of a, an idea. It's probably not going to be a huge issue, but something to, on the radar kind of thing. Um, I think that's it for board farm from my end. Uh, funding open WRT projects. We've had the four projects that are approved. Uh, one completed in the first round, um, and August has submitted his. Uh, a pull request to the Lucy repository. Um, I'm not sure if it's been merged or or if they've given him more feedback, um, but we're very happy. And I know he's using it. Um, he works for, I believe he's the CEO at, or CTO at Anana Box, and they are shipping it as is. Um, their support for uh, timing of internet access for different devices um, and scheduling and turning it on and off. So. Uh, certainly getting some use, that, which is good to hear. Uh, Felix, do you have any updates on your work? Um, so I'm basically still uh, busy um, wrapping my head around the different implementations, comparing uh, how the API works between the ADB implementation and the transformer from Technicolor. And so it's, it's basically uh, thinking about various design approaches, trying to make good decisions and... Uh, this is what I'm currently busy with. It might still take a while. It's hard to predict when I'll have this nailed down. I just want to get as much as possible right on the, on the first round. Uh, uh, I think that sounds great. Um, Walter, do, do you have any um, kind of timeline on when the uh, soft at home one might be available for Felix? For Felix? Um, it depends. Uh, Felix, do you have an NDA with Soft at Home? Or are you just waiting for the open source release? Mm, I don't think I have a separate NDA. Um, because with an uh, NDA, we could start it right away. Luca has access already since a few weeks. Uh, we're just waiting for a, um, the, uh, the, the agreement on which license we can use to, to release the code from our uh, corporate overlords. And, yeah. um, and I haven't heard anything from uh, from Wojtek about this in the last few days, so so we're kind of blocked on on just on that, on nothing else. Yeah. Okay. But if uh, if it's possible to get that with an NDA, then um, yeah, we should get that set up so I can incorporate the design ideas from that one as well. Okay, I'll get that started. I think I have a boilerplate NDA that I could send to you uh, immediately. Oh, that will be great. Thanks. That's great. Awesome. Uh, is is Luca on the call? I don't I don't know if he uh, was able to make it today. All right. I uh, haven't heard an update from from Luca on, on their work, um, but uh, I, it's, it was going well last time I heard, so I assume it continues to be. Um, Eric, uh, uh, Matteo here. Yep. Just wanted to say, I don't know if Felix would like to uh, receive some help from our side in order to understand some implementation choices done on the agent itself or on the configuration work. So don't, don't be afraid of asking. Uh, you can just drop us an email or writing on Basecamp and we will do our best for answering in order to explain the the underlying choices. Sounds good. Thanks. Um, I'm still at the phase where I just um, review everything. I'm not, I'm not trying to understand every single design decision yet. Basically, just need to uh, get a better sense of, uh, of the data model involved because uh, the implementations are quite different and I just want to um, it's, it's not about individual decisions where it would be easy for me to ask questions. It's more about uh, uh, kind of developing a feel for the basic underlying model of, of this all. Okay, okay, understood, but just keep it in mind. I, I will definitely keep it in mind, thanks. I will let you know if I have any questions. Okay. All right, anything else for Felix or on this topic? 
All right. Uh, I guess then the next thing is is we had an, we announced on Monday the next round of funding that we've opened. Um, we we really encourage people that are either you know on this call or know people that you think could work on some interesting projects um, that we we want people to submit uh, proposals. The deadline um, is October twenty fourth to submit the proposal. Uh, we have a list of ideas at uh, at purple uh, at purple works at prpl.works uh, so I encourage people to to look at those if there's something that they feel that is not, is missing we're more than happy to consider it and it's you know certainly very likely that we would we do consider, consider funding and if it's if it's a good proposal that has value to 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 everyone so um, I guess my you know just so share that with everybody get them to uh, you know, if anyone you know who ha who has experience at any of the topics that we have in particular, I encourage you to have them submit or contact us to find out more or, or anything along those lines. Uh, and and Art will be talking about uh, funding OpenWRT projects at uh, OpenWRT Summit as well. So uh, we are certainly going to encourage people there to con make consider uh, fun um, submitting for funding. Uh, any questions about that? All right. Well, uh, on to regulatory update. Art, do you want to handle this, or do you, or I mean, it's just the email that you got from Rashmi. I can. Do you want me to do it, or? Yeah, time? there's not too there's not too much to uh, discuss there. But uh, FCC did come back to life after their vacation season. <laughs> and is proposing a conference call with us sometime in October. Uh, I propose to them instead that we all meet face-to-face uh, -face at the Open WRT Summit. Uh, they came back and said, uh, because it's the end of the government fiscal year, uh, that they don't have the travel budget. So I thought that was kind of funny. But uh, <laughs> nonetheless, uh, I'm now angling for a conference call with them at their convenience sometime in October. That's still TB TBD. They said they remained... Uh, very interested in working with uh, Purple and the OpenWRT community. And they said they had actually reached out to several hardware vendors to understand their perspective as well. So I don't have any more details than that. It, it I thought it was also notable without getting too much into the email that they did mention uh, that they that they were also looking at what they can do from the regulatory side, which is good, I think good to hear. Um, so we will we'll see what what uh, where this goes, but it sounds good. Um, I would encourage people, if you want to be involved in this discussion, to let us know. Um, it's it's very important, and uh, I don't I'm, how exactly we'll do it, whether it'll be conference call or what whatnot. If it, it's just be good to know, to have people uh, together working on this topic. So, all right. Uh, any comments on that? All right, uh, Open WRT Summit. That is kind of the big thing right now. That's in two weeks. I can't believe it's coming up so quickly. Uh, we are going to be closing registrations at 225 registrations, which is imminent and may actually have already happened. I'm not sure. Um, that is ex far beyond what I think we we had imagined we were going to get. We're going to be very tight, but obviously with a free event, there's going to be pretty significant drop off in the, in people who show up as well as um, uh, people are gonna be coming in and out all day, we're sure. Um, so uh, it's gonna be tight, but we will, we will make it work. Uh, we can continue to add folks manually in a case by case basis. Uh, in particular, these are people who are in, uh, who are on the OpenWT core team or are, um, lead committers or, or some you know people in, in those groups who, who are very important that we want to be there if they had not registered we will certainly uh, add them um, and if, if they're from purple members I, I are other valuable members of the community I, I don't see it being an issue but um, uh, so yeah it, it's going to be a great turnout uh, I talked to Hauke and he, he said he he uh, thinks that there is going to be a fairly large contingent of, of lead committers there so that's great to hear um, and I know there's going to be a number of OpenWRT core team members, so that's also good. Uh, so uh, this is this is turning out uh, extremely uh, successful and uh, great numbers. So I'm really happy about that. 
Um, other things related to that, we've ordered T-shirts. Uh, we also um, we have the um, uh, the evening social event has been is being res has been reserved. Uh, it's going to be at Corroboree, uh, which is in the Sony Center. It's about a five to ten minute walk. It was they will they can handle about a little over two hundred people, so it's about what we need. Um, and uh, it should be should be real good. There's going to be uh, dinner and uh, and drinks there, so it should be a fun time for everyone. Um, there were some questions that someone had asked. Are we going to be live streaming? Absolutely. Uh, we also are going to have an IRC channel, which is uh, OpenWRT Summit on Freenode. Um, what else? Uh, we're looking, because of the high uh, number of registrations and to give people a chance to um, possibly have, you know, quieter discussions or, or have a second place to go, we're looking at the possibility of having um, kind of an overflow room for the summit because it's quite possible people are going to want to come in and out over the day and we don't want people to have to just, you know, leave. Uh, but uh, we're not. We haven't got uh, feedback on whether there is the availability or cost of that at the at the summit site. But it is. We've we've uh, considered that. Um, I think that's everything right now. Any questions? I know it's a lot. All right. Well, that's good. I've answered every question. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, that's that's going very well. Uh, big thing to announce is the Carrier Interest Group face-to-face -face meeting. Um, uh, Pasquale and and Wojtek have been very active in, in leading this um, to talk about a hardware abstraction layer that kind of uh, between uh, vendors, SOC vendors, and um, software vendors uh, as it relates primarily to OpenWRT. Um, we're certainly going to have OpenWRT and lead members there, and I don't think anybody's going to be making any technical decisions without uh, without any sort of uh, agreement of the of the of the communities. Uh, the meeting is really to to hammer out uh, do. Uh, do the software vendors and SOC vendors agree that we're going to, that this is something we want to continue pursuing um, to uh, fix some of these problems? And it, it seems to have gotten a decent amount of interest from uh, a number of, of software vendors that are either uh, in Purple already or going to be joining Purple, um, as well as carriers. And uh, and the and uh, Intel and Qualcomm are both uh, interested in and will be there. It's going to be uh, October 25th and 26th. 26th is just a, a day if we can't finish everything on the 25th in San Jose, um, uh, San Jose, California at, at Qualcomm uh, offices. Uh, did I cover everything there, Mateo? I feel like like you would be the person who would have, who would know someone at ADB. And we'll yeah, well, uh, either me or Pasquale will come there for sure. Do you mm -hmm. have already an idea on uh, which operators will be there? Because I do remember that someone from Deutsche Telekom expressed some interest uh, in Iskand, but then I didn't know if uh, those guys are coming or not to the face-to-face -face in San Jose. I, I don't know yet. I'll, I'll contact them. Uh, I'm certainly going to contact them, and I'm going to contact uh, some of the other carriers that are either joining Purple or interested to get their uh, to get their participation as well. Um, one of them I emailed; he's actually was just out of the office until I think next week, so it makes sense that I went heard back from him. Um, but yeah, so we I will okay. we'll, we'll certainly get those get get a, a list of people. And anyways, uh, Chandana, who is graciously offered to host at Qualcomm headquarters. She needs a list anyway, so. Right. Definitely. Walter, is there anything that, that you know of that we've, that, that I forgot to mention? No, Not really. Um, you, you were addressing me, right? Yes, I thought I was. 
Uh, no, I actually have a presentation that I at some point in time gave to Michael Abrahamson of uh, Deutsche Telekom, mm -hmm. uh, of the which has an overview of all the different Linux interfaces that are either standard Linux or that need to be abstracted because there is no standard in Linux. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been thinking of cleaning that up and posting mm -hmm. it to the uh, to the mail thread in the, on Basecamp as well as, uh, as a basis for discussion actually for this discussion. I think that'd be great, definitely, to get a get a better sense because I, I know it's a fairly broad topic. Um, so, yeah, definitely that'll be great. So excited that we that we've confirmed that date and, and it looks like uh, we can we can move forward with that and we're certainly going to um, get a get a list of all the people who want to be there and who are going to be there. So anything else related to that? All right. Uh, any other discussion? Anything that people want to talk about that I didn't mention? All right. Well, uh, thank you, everyone, for joining then. I will have our meeting again next week. And uh, um, I guess uh, I'll talk to you then or before that uh, on the mailing list or on Basecamp. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone.